Okay guys, we're gonna do a kettlebell goblet squat here. Okay, so we're gonna use a kettlebell, but you could also do the exact same thing with a dumbbell. It doesn't really make a difference, okay? It depends on the load that you have available and what's easiest for you to hold, okay? So what we're gonna do here initially is get the kettlebell up into our starting position, okay? So get up to the point where we're holding it. There's different ways you can hold a kettlebell. Paddy's choosing to hold it there by the handles. You can also hold it by the bottom in that kind of goblet type grip. You can also flip it upside down and do the same thing, okay? It doesn't really matter, you know? It's not too much of a big deal, whatever feels more most comfortable for you. Same goes for the dumbbell. Most people choose a, a dumbbell grip with a kind of a goblet grip like that, but some people like to hold each end of the dumbbell, okay? Generally, the goblet grip is preferred if you're using a dumbbell, all right? So what you're doing here, guys, is you're starting off in your squat stance, whichever is most comfortable for you, and then you're squatting down, keeping that back nice and straight. You're keeping the heels on the floor, and you're keeping your chest tall, okay? So you're keeping that kettlebell close at all times and that's gonna enable you to stay a bit more upright and make the squat a bit easier. You don't wanna be holding it way out in front of you. You wanna keep it in nice and close. That's the easiest way to do this exercise, okay? So down nice and controlled, heels on the floor, control change of direction. You'll see Paddy's knees are pointing out throughout here. He's not allowing them to collapse in. If you find that happening, think about pushing them out again. Stay tall throughout, and when you're done the exercise, let the kettlebell down and get ready for your next set. So that's the kettlebell goblet squat. Great exercise, as I said, for the lower body in particular. So you're gonna be working the quads, the glutes, the adductors, so the groin, a little bit of the hamstrings as well. So a great one for overall lower body strength and muscle development.